Today, I will show you how easy it is to design a custom vector for my gene of interest using our Vector Design Studio. To get started, visit VectorBuilder.com and click Design My Vector on the homepage. You will first choose a vector system suitable for your project from our extensive collection of over 700 backgrounds. We offer all kinds of vectors for gene expression, short hairpin RNA knockdown, CRISPR, in vitro transcription, and recombinant protein expression in various species. You can further read our educational guides to learn more about each vector system. I click Go to Design to enter the Vector Design Studio. I can see that all the necessary components for propagation in bacteria and lenivirus packaging are already in the backbone of the vector. First, I'll select the promoter to drive the expression of my gene of interest. I can choose from the annotated Popular Promoter database, which contains ubiquitous, tissue-specific, and inducible promoters. I can also easily paste in custom promoter sequences and save them for future use. After selecting my promoter, I can choose my open reading frame, either by adding in my sequence of interest or by selecting from popular ORFs, including various reporters, regulatory proteins, recombinases, and other popular genes. I can also search using the RefSeq gene name to find my gene of interest in various species. After selecting my gene, I can browse its different isoforms and read up on them by clicking the links to NCBI and UCSC Genome Browser to decide the best isoform for my application. Vector Builder allows me to have unlimited customization of my ORF using the Sequence Editor. Point mutations, deletions, and insertions can easily be made by directly editing the sequence, with all changes being tracked. For expressing a polycystron, I go to the upper left of the studio and select the number of ORFs to be expressed. The process for designing short hairpin RNA and CRISPR vectors is similar as well. To knock down or knock out my gene of interest, I can select the expression system that works best for my application and search from Vector Builder's databases, or type in my sequence using Vector Builder's short hairpin or guide RNA designer. The last step is to add a selection marker from Vector Builder's marker database, which includes single and dual antibiotic and fluorescent markers. Now that my vector design is finished, I click Finish Design. Whoops! Looks like I made a mistake when editing my sequence and accidentally added in an extra nucleotide. Luckily, the Vector Design Studio has smartly spotted this. I can now go back and correct the mistake, and my vector is good to go. Vector Builder assigns a unique anonymized vector ID to each finished vector design, allowing the vector to easily be retrieved in the future. I can download a vector report in different formats, share my vector design with my colleagues, or check out a fully annotated vector map and view the sequence of my custom vector. I can request a vector quote and quickly receive a price for cloning my vector, as well as order downstream services including plasmid DNA preparation and virus packaging. If my vector needs fall outside the scope of the Vector Design Studio, or if I need help with my vector design, I can always request design support on the homepage. Here, I can consult with Vector Builder's expert scientists by sending them a question or a description of my project. And I can attach any files pertinent to my request, including vector maps and sequences. In addition, by clicking Explore Popular Vectors, I can find popular vectors containing my gene of interest these vectors cover a wide variety of expression systems for common applications, and many are in stock for immediate shipment and serve as cost-effective solutions for research projects. Vector Builder is producing thousands of custom vectors for researchers around the world. Get started by designing your own vector today at VectorBuilder.com and join us in the gene delivery revolution.